Cloning is the process of making a genetically identical organism through a non-sexual means. In this video, I'll illustrate animal cloning by Dolly the sheep, as an example, who was cloned in 1996. But first, let's look at natural fertilization and embryogenesis. So here at the ovary, at day 14, we have the egg that's released from the ovary and then moves across into the fallopian tube. Here it meets a sperm cell which then fuses together and fertilizes the egg. This is the one cell embryo which we call a zygote. From here this one cell zygote continues up the fallopian tube to move into the uterus and as it moves up it goes through a process of mitosis which essentially doubles the cell number. At about day five we have a blastocyst which contains about 50 to 200 cells and from here it will then enter the uterus, will embed into the endometrium start to proceed through embryogenesis and then nine months later we have a newborn baby. But how is cloning different? Okay, so in 1996 Ian Wilmot and his team produced a sheep clone known as Dolly. Step one, they extracted egg cells from a Scottish black-faced ewe. Here they then used a micro pipette to suck out the nucleus from the cell which essentially gave you a nucleated egg cell. The next step is to remove somatic cells from a different sheep species, in this case it's a fin dorset sheep. They extracted somatic cells from the mammary gland, which then they arrested or stopped the cell cycling. And then they were able to merge the somatic cell with the empty egg cell with the use of an electrical impulse. And then finally, using another electrical impulse, they then stimulated that mix of cells to then cause official fertilization. From here, we then have a zygote and we saw the same process occur. So then we move through to a blastocyst stage, like we saw at day five here, and the blastocyst then was implanted into a Scottish black-faced surrogate mother. 148 days later, we had a brand new lamb, which was identical to this one, so it was a Finn Dorset lamb, and we named it Dolly. It was named Dolly after the country western singer, partly because they extracted the cells from the mammary gland, and I'll let you work out the final points to that story.